Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Um, evil is gathering together again tonight to attempt uh, an assault on my lower chakras through the energies of my cat. And I, I heard on the astral plane the plan that is in place through the Satan realm to to deliver me up to the denser, darker energies of Earth and to d diminish my abilities as a light worker. This has been going on since about COVID every week. And earlier this morning I was thinking about this and I've developed at least a notion of how to proceed. I put my cat in a place by herself with all the things she needs to be happy so that she can't uh, arrive at my door loaded down with demonic energies in the middle of the night. Now, cats are not demonic, you know. Wild animals are not demonic, but sometimes these energies can be seized upon by demonic energies. So, uh, it's better while we're sleeping to have a sacred space all around us and not to, not to allow easily obsessable sorts of animals to be near us, I feel. So that was my first plan, right? And my second idea was to find a really good psalm to recite that would protect me. Because in the old days, when the people were subject to so many heathen influences in Israel, they had they had a real need for protection, a deep need for protection, much as the light workers have a need for protection here in heathen Los Angeles. You know, and it's it's no good to go around pointing fingers and carrying and commode and some of the most unlikely people, some of the people we think are the most saintly, may think it's pretty good fun, you know. And here we are, we're suffering. So we have to we have to kick butt just like the shepherds of Israel kicked butt in the ancient days. And there's only one way to do that. That's by asking God for help. Now I have here a psalm from the King James Version of the Bible, which was my mother's favorite version of the Bible. She was Anglican. And this is Psalm 59. It's very, it's very strong, I feel, and it's good for times when we are facing the greatest darkness. Okay, I'm going to read as well as I can. Imagine there are enemies all around, far too many for us to conquer, as is the case for me tonight, okay? And, and we need help, and we, we, we're desperately asking for help. Okay, we have to have help, but we're confident that help is there, okay? Deliver me from mine enemies, O oh my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold, thou therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. They return at evening, and it's evening now. They return at evening. They make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth. Swords are in their lips for who, they say, doth hear. But thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee. For God is my defense. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. 
God shall let me see my desire upon mine enemies. Now here's a good verse. Verse 11. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power, and bring them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for the cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath. Consume them that they may not be. And let them know that God ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. And at evening let them return and let them make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and my refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing. For God is my defense and the God of my mercy. So there you have it, Psalm 59, King James Version. It's, it's, it's a tough psalm for tough times, really tough times. This person, this person that wrote this psalm is in the same shoes that I'm in right now. And i got to figure it worked for him because he was able to write down what he was saying and he, he, must, have, he must have had very great faith because after all these eons, this psalm is still in the Bible. It still can be read by anyone. And that includes you and me when we get in this kind of really tough situation. I think the, the line that I like the most is the very last one. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. We're singing to God. God is our strength, right? God defends us. God is our defense. And God is... God is merciful to us, and God is merciful to our foes, and God finds a way through for everyone. That's what I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that tonight I and other light workers will not be attacked once more. I'm hoping this is the end of this curse, and that God is the answer, and faith in God reveals the answer to all of us. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days in love, light, and joy. This is Alice B. Claggett. I'm of the stars, and so are you. Psalm 59, way so cool.